So this is the Ylang-Zi U-Rig Pro, and it's completely, well, 99% made of plastic. But don't let that put you off buying this. It is a very, very solid piece of kit. So you can bend it a little bit, so it's got some kind of give to it. But it's really, really durable piece of kit. So you could put this in your bag, carry it around, whatever. And even if you drop it, it's not going to break. And as you can see with this bit, you've got a twisting knob here. If you twist it too far, it does come off, but it's not broken. It's just, I don't know, I suppose it's to stop it from completely breaking, so it lets it come off and you can put it back on again. And then you can slide this up and down. And what that's doing is it's changing the grip here so you can put your phone in. So use that to put your phone in there. And the grips are all rubber, so you've got this back red pad here, that's rubber, and all these bits are rubber as well, so they've got a bit of give to them. Bit of give there, a bit of bending. And the grip on this is superb. So this is just an iPhone 4. The one I use is slightly bigger, I use the iPhone 6S. But even if you use an iPhone 10, 11, the grip on this would be perfect. And, you know, it's not going anywhere in this. And I can shake it as much as I possibly can. And it's not going anywhere at all. And then to release it, you just pull this back up. And there you go. Now you can tighten this up when you've got the grip on, but to be honest, the spring's so tight anyway, I don't really know if you'd need this. You might want to do it just for safety, but I mean, it's so strong, the grip. I don't think you'll need that at all. Now on top, you've got three cold shoe mounts. So you've got one on the right, one in the center, one on the left. So you want to put a microphone, two lights, one light, whatever situation you want to put on top of there. Really, really easy to use and work with. And you've got quarter threads here, quarter thread there, and you've got quarter thread underneath. You want to put on a tripod and you've got a quarter thread on the side if you want to do portrait. So they kind of thought of everything really. Now I bought this for about 12 pounds. I think it was off Amazon. A lot of sellers are selling it for about 20 pounds, which is even then still a good price, but Hunt around, you can find this for about £12. Really, really worthwhile piece of kit. It's helped me do sort of still shots that are handheld so much better because when you're just using your hand on the phone, you're always going to get little jitters, little movements, little shakes and tremors that you just can't get rid of if you're using your hand. I mean, if you've got a really steady grip, you might be able to do that. But this is really helping me out at the moment. I've taken it out for a spin, which I'll show you shortly, to show you exactly the difference it makes. Now, this won't replace a gimbal, so if you want to do tracking shots, which I'll show you in a bit, going backwards, going forwards, following a subject, then it's not really going to be good for that. But what it is good for is sort of static shots, you know, dialogue shots, anything where you're relatively still, but you can hold it and you can do those kind of movements really, really smoothly with the camera. And it will be as if you're using something really expensive, but obviously behind the scenes, this is what you're using. So to show you exactly what this does, how it works, i show you what it can't do as well. Let's have a look and take it outside for a spin. Okay, so something else you might want to do with your smartphone filmmaking is doing pan shots to reveal things, to reveal scenes, people, places. So this is what it's like to do it with handheld, completely handheld. So it's okay, it's a little bit jittery, not that smooth. And if you've got hands like mine, it's quite hard to keep them stable and solid. So let's have a look at that and how smooth that is with the U-Rig Pro. Okay, and this is what it's like with the U-Rig Pro. So as you can see, it's way smoother and it's way easier for me to hold a pretty stable shot as well when I'm still. So that's something else you want to do is if you're filming dialogue, filming any kind of scenes where you want kind of locked off shots or pretty still shots, then this is really great for that. And also do be careful if you let your dog poop here, you will get five hundred pounds, and as a maximum fine of a thousand pounds, even more reason not to let your dog poop here. So this is <laughs> this is the pan up shot with the rig. And also talking of doing still shots, this is completely handheld, and it's still, but you're still getting some jitters. And this is me leaning on my legs, sitting down, completely still. Now the shot doesn't look that bad, but it will look even better when we use the U-Rig Pro, and this will show you exactly why it's good if you're doing dialogue scenes while doing over the shoulder shots, things like that. The Urig Pro really, really helps you keep it stable, keep it steady and not get crazy jittery movement.
Okay, so this is the U-Rig Pro. This is me trying to keep it as still as possible. And while she probably won't notice that much difference, it is a lot more still, to my eyes at least. And if you look at the edges of the screen as well, if you go back and watch the edges of the first shot, you'll see there's quite a big difference. And again, if you're doing over the shot dialogue scenes, really, really handy to be able to do still scenes. If you haven't got maybe a tripod with you or you can't take a, a big tripod and lug it around with you, this is really handy, really good equipment. And again, it's so cheap as well. And it's about £12 is what I bought it for. I think you can find it for about 20 at the most. It's a really, really worthwhile piece of kit. And I think it's excellent. And it's also smooth to get shots like this, where you're revealing something or something's in the cover that the actor's getting as well. It's really helpful to give you shots that are quite unique. Now you can prop this phone up against other stuff, but this is going to give you a bit more stability and allow you to just put it more places safely and give you less faff so you can do it super quick. Okay, so this is completely handheld, hands on the phone only. And this is walking forwards. This is where the Yuri Pro probably won't be a huge amount of help, to be honest. You really want to gimbal for this kind of thing. If you're following someone, your subject, your actor. And again, the jitteriness coming in there. You just can't get the smoothness with hands on, which is why stuff like this is really, really helpful. So we're going to show you now what it's like to use the Urig Pro and see if that makes any difference. Okay, so now we're moving with the Urig Pro. I mean, minus the actual bumps I'm hitting on the ground here, it's actually relatively smooth. But again, you're clearly not going to use this over a gimbal. I've got the Osmo Mobile 3, which I haven't really utilised too much yet. But I think I will do, especially when I'm getting this kind of footage. So this is probably one of the things you wouldn't be able to do with uh, the Uri Pro. So don't think it's going to replace the gimbals that you might have or might want to buy. So this is probably one of the only things which it can't do. Well guys, I hope you found this video really useful, especially if you're starting out or if you're on a low budget. It's a really great tool to have this Ulanzi Urig Pro and it's something I'm really excited about using. I'm even going to use it in my next short film as well, so when I post that you'll see even more of what this can do. We've seen what it can't do, but it can do a heck of a lot and help you in your handheld work. So I hope you found this interesting. If you have, hit the subscribe button below and the like button, and also the notification bell. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye bye.